All right, folks. Tonight we got a couple of products that I'm uh, looking at pretty close. You know, just trying to see what's coming down the, the line here. Christmas is coming up. It's time to buy stuff. If you're going to get a Chinese product, you're going to have to start shopping right now, obviously, and start researching. Before I go recommending either of these, even though they both caught my eye and I like them both, um, I just thought I'd let you know what I'm looking at. You know, sometimes it takes me a month before I'll put out a video and say, I'd buy this. Before I'm going to recommend it, since I can't get hands on it, I've got to see enough reviews and enough positives and negatives to actually say, huh, this is some good stuff. So the first one on the list, and they're in no particular order here, is the Chewy Lapbook SE. Now Chris over at Tech Tablets did a review on this. It'll be linked in the description below as usual. Um, it's a 13.3 inch with 128 gig SSD drive already installed and an EMMC drive, which for some reason they put the operating system on. We don't know why, but the only downside to this one, uh, it's a little smaller screen. Than I would like, but a lot of people, 13.3 inch is the sweet spot for a nice portable laptop or notebook, whatever you want to call it, with a uh, uh, decent display, a really good display, by the way, uh, an excellent keyboard, and this one happens to be backlit. Two stages of backlighting. This is very reminiscent of last year's Lapbook Air, except for the one con it has going, and that is it only comes with 4 gig of RAM. Now, 4 gig of RAM will get the job done. Uh, you can probably even do some light video editing on this. Although, if you've watched any of my recent videos, I'm probably going to go to a Zotac CI529. Uh, with 8 gig of RAM in it and probably a 500 gig uh, SSD so that I can have half Linux, half Win 10 and do my video editing in the Linux portion because OpenShot is a whole lot more, uh, well, let's just say it's quite a bit faster than over on the Windows side which is just a port of a Linux version of the software. So, so far, this is the one and only review I've seen on this from an independent reviewer I trust uh, or somebody I watch all the time. I don't watch any of those China Mobile Mags and uh, anything from the actual manufacturer. Now, you can get one of these, and here's the bonus on this for 13.3 inch. Right now, they're like $279. That's pretty cheap. Over on uh, GearBest, I'll link that in the description below, of course. Um, I would shop around. I would probably do my own research before buying one of these. But if you just gotta have yourself a nice thin notebook, this may be the way to go. That's a pretty good looking device. Uh, four gig of RAM, eh, not fantastic. Don't expect to play games on this, folks. It's not a gaming thing. It's an N4100 powered uh, processor making it a Gemini Lake. You know, putting it in the same ballpark as that Zotac I mentioned briefly a second ago. Um, except for the fact, 4 gig of RAM. And the Zotac is a desktop. And this is a notebook slash laptop. Call it what you will. So let's move on to the second item. And this one's been getting a lot of attention. The Real Me 2. I watched like three videos today. I'm just going to point out the first two I saw. Uh, last night, uh, I saw this one from Ben over at Ben's Gadget Reviews. He's one of the reviewers I trust. So he did a hands-on unbox. And uh, it's a pretty good phone, six point like three inches, has a really cool teardrop drop display, and let's take a look at how one of these things looks. It looks like that. See the teardrop up there? Kind of cool. 
There's the dual cameras on the back, fingerprint reader, face ID, or face unlock. Um, now at $15,990 that comes out to about $219 in, in the US because I looked it up somewhere. Well I had looked it up. You gotta trust me on that. Just type in convert rupees and put $15,990 in. You'll get the number. But they also make it in a 4 gig of RAM version with 64 gig. And that's right around 200. So we're looking at a phone right in the wheelhouse that a lot of people would consider a super budget phone. 64 gig onboard. Uh, you can put a micro SD card in it and two SIMs at the same time. It looks like it comes with all the bands to cover at least AT&T, LTE, and 4G in the USA. Right now it's only available in Flipkart, which is where we're looking at it here. Uh, they're kind of focusing a lot of phones on initial releases over to India because it's a huge market and it's a very wide open market for two and three hundred dollar phones. Uh, Realme is a division of Oppo. Oppo also is the part of the companies that are owned by the same company that makes the one plus sixes and the vivo phones and the vivo and well that's about it real me would be the third brand um so all that being said uh the other video i watched Lou over at Unbox Therapy. Now he's not one of my trusted reviewers because he's not a reviewer, but I trust what he puts out there. And he really likes this thing too, and he's got his mind right. Yeah, it's it, it's not an iPhone anything. Uh, it, it's not going to compete with the upper end flagships. What it competes with is it's 200 bucks has an excellent uh, what they call it super. Uh, FHD display, so it's a 1080, and it's like 22 something by something uh, on the uh, other end of the you know, numbers there. It's an IPS, but it looks good. Excellent viewing angles, the cameras are good. Uh, it's all around a very good phone. We're gonna keep an eye on this one. This might be one, who knows, it's a rate I'm getting around to buying the new mobile G3. I might end up buying this, although it's a little bigger than I'd like, but physically, because they shrunk the notch down to virtually nothing here, you know, you get this little teardrop thing up there. Once again, that's the whole notch. That really doesn't get in the way a whole lot. And the phone, yeah, looks and feels good. So, well, that's what we got coming down the pipe. There'll be some actual, you know, when I come to some conclusions, I'll do a video on those and we'll reach some conclusion whether I recommend them, maybe add them to my list of budget phones and or laptops slash notebooks to buy for the upcoming season. So that's it for the night. Uh, we're just going to leave it right there. As usual, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Share the video with all your friends. Share it with your enemies. I don't care who you share it with. Leave some feedback and give us a darn thumbs up. It really helps. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.